Hey everybody, Tom Sparks, Sparks Media Group. Today we're going to scan a uh, probably, I don't know, 1200 square foot house with the iGUIDE Plan X Pro. First step is to turn it on. Take the lens cap off. Make sure our lens is clean, which it is. Going to screw it on the base there. Okay. <clears throat> Now, when I scan these houses, I like to keep the tripod about this height. So from the ground, the lens is about 58 inches or four foot 10. And you can see that right there. It's about where I like to keep it. So I always like to start right at the entryway. We want to make sure we're connected to the Planix network, which we are. Open a web browser, go to 192.168.5.1. We're going to create a new project. Typically, I'll put this as the address of the house, but I'm not. I'm just going to put the city name today. We're setting the exterior wall thickness at six inches. And we're going to label the floor. So I'm going to call this upper level because you come in on the upstairs, six inch wall thickness, and it's not below grade. So we're going to hit create. and we're ready to take our first scan. Now you can cycle through the screens. We'll hit scan, hit the camera icon. There you have it. I like to stay on this map view to make sure that I don't have any misalignments. Now I'll typically scan with closet doors closed and I'll do one additional scan with the closet door open. So I'll back out of the way here. There it put the closet door open. We hide the closet door open shots on the final tour, but the drafters use that to build an accurate floor plan. Uh, when I'm scanning, I like to do intersection points. So you have one hallway right here, and then you have another hallway here. So we're gonna put the scan right there in the middle. Hit the shutter icon. You want to just check to make sure you're not in any shot. Now here's another intersection point. It's where the hallway meets the kitchen area and the living room. Now if we were to hit the shutter button and then say, oh no, we're in the shot. What we can do, 
you'll see that I'm in the shot right there. What I'm going to do is go to scan and then delete the previous scan. Go back to survey and then we'll take the image again. Now, here's some misalignment. So we're gonna to try to adjust this as best we can. And I think it's gonna go right there. That looks good, we'll hit save. Now big open spaces, you only need a couple scans. I'm gonna do a little extra because there's a lot of great views here. So we started this, what, maybe five minutes ago. It's now 10.30 a.m. We'll keep track and see how long it takes us to do this house. Now another option we can do, if we're in an outside situation where we can't hide from the camera, what we can do is face the camera, face the LCD screen on the Rico. We're gonna hit this one, two button and hit the shutter button. Now it's gonna take a picture and you're gonna see us in the shot. There you go. We're gonna walk around to the other side of the camera, which I call the back side. Hit the same button. And it's gonna stitch the two together and remove me from the image. And there you have it. I'm not in the shot. So this is what you can do in a situation where you're not able to easily get out of the way of the camera. Now I'm going to do another intersection point between this bathroom area and the hallway. And I like to do on one side of the door and then right on the other side of the door. It's always better to get extra scans than not enough. You can always hide scans, but you never wanted to get in a situation where you need more scans and you don't have them. So we had a misalignment here because all the mirrors. I'm gonna say it's right there.
got a closet here, so we're going to open it. And when I'm scanning closets, I like to do half in, half out. That should have enough LiDAR information for the drafters. Same thing, I'm going to do half in and half out. I'm going to put one right here by the sliding glass door so people can get a view. I think I'm in that scan. So what I'm going to do is go to scan delete the last one and redo it. Go back to survey. You always want to be careful that you're not in any mirror reflections. There we go. Now I did this side of the doorway, so I'm going to go immediately on the other side. There we go. Now before I go downstairs, I'm going to do this front deck. Uh, we can do outside scans with iGUIDE. And there's a nice view, so I'm going to capture that. So we did, we started with the door closed. Now we're going to open the door. There you have it. I'll do outside. And there's a misalignment, so we're going to adjust it. There you go.
Nice view. Okay. Now we'll go downstairs. So with iGUIDE, uh, you scan at the very top of the stairs, which is right here. And we did that. And now we're going to go down the stairs and scan at the very bottom of the stairs. You don't have to do in between stairs. So now we're at the bottom and we're going to go to floor and we're going to call this lower level. And this is still above grade, so we're going to keep it above grade. Put that right there. Either side of the doorway. Now we typically treat garages like we do closets. We're only scanning them for drafting purposes. Unless there's built-ins and really nice shelving, epoxy floors, that kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is open the garage door. Same premise, scan on one side of it. And go in and scan immediately on the other side.
there you have it. So in about 20 minutes, we did 1,300 square feet, a little over 1,300, and we're all done. If you haven't already seen my videos on how to stitch, uh, they're on my channel. And so what I'll do is I'll take this and put the thumb drive in the computer and we'll go over the stitching process. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.